I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of All Trades. This video is jam-packed with a lot of cool information I wanted to show you guys. We just built a brand new pole barn on the property. We have an off-grid deer camp that I want to show you guys. And then last but not least, there's a tree that's growing around an old tree stand that you guys aren't going to want to miss. Hey guys, welcome back to Mark of All Trades. It is the 2020 deer camp and I just wanted to show you guys the upgrades and the things that have stayed the same from last year. So you guys can... Uh, take a look at this video from last year if you missed last year's but here's the 2020 deer camp so we have here's my truck and here's my dad's truck I'm sure you guys remember the camper from last year um, that's still the same we did upgrade slightly this year um, we put a new antenna up and so with this we're able to get the regular channels like Fox, NBC, uh, CBS, and if you see that little blue thing up there, we got a little signal booster to where once we have the generator going, we can um, get better cell phone reception from there. So um, if you have YouTube Live or Direct TV on your phone, you can get cable channels in here. So just a nice little luxury that we upgraded this year. Um, we also have the same generator that powers this um, RV from last year and I'll show you and we keep it underneath this plywood just to um, keep it out of the elements so that nothing happens to it but it's super easy um, you just turn this over to choke on and it purrs it's super quiet you don't even notice that it's really on most of the time and so we'll have that on whenever we're um, in between hunts or if it's nighttime so we'll keep all the gasoline cans right over here to fuel the generator. And it's pretty fuel efficient. We haven't had to go into town yet and we're on day three. So that's going pretty well. So here is the entrance to the camper. Um, I showed you guys that last year, so you should be good on that one. But here's something new. We added a new tent to add more storage. And so in here, this is where we keep all of our hunting stuff. So uh, my dad's out in the field right now, but he'll keep his stuff on that last line and all my stuff is on the first line. And uh, yeah, uh, we're, he's using his gun right now, but we'll keep our crossbows and stuff in here. And then at night, we'll just bring them into the camper just in case anybody wanders onto the property. But yeah, we'll just keep everything here. And then in the back, we've upgraded to this fancy, super nice, private suite of a bathroom so if you need to go you at least have a little corner of heaven in here so that's pretty nice I'll take you guys back outside so back here behind the camper um, we used to have a hole back here and when we had um, some loggers come through and log the property, we had them build a, or dig a little hole right here. And we just never got around to building a house on here and it's not gonna happen within the next five years. So we pushed all the dirt back in there and now it's just a flat surface. And you can still see, um, this is the road up here, but just in between there, all the parts where the logger had um, left all of the logs. And you can still kind of see it here. We've just kind of moved it over a little bit. It's something that I need to tackle uh, in the years coming just to get rid of it. If you guys have any suggestions on how to uh, get rid of excess logs on your property, definitely let me know. Um, we're trying the fire pits, but uh, <laughs> you know, that only goes like one log per weekend. So if you know anything a little bit, uh, a little bit faster, definitely let me know. And then here's our water jug over here to the side. Um, this is where like, we'll keep the water for the dogs and stuff. Um, yeah. We have a trail, a trail camera on the, on the camper. So if anybody were to come in and mess with it, we've got it pretty securely locked. 
So that's not going anywhere. You're gonna have to work to get that one off. So this is the new addition to the property that I'm pretty excited to talk about. Um, we're building the first blind onto the property. This is the newest blind that we're building and uh, it should be pretty nice. Uh, we just built it out of OSB board and some 2x4s. We're going to um, put some insulation on the inside and then there's a pretty big window in here just in case you want to use your compound bow or crossbow. The limbs won't get in the way once they fire. So I think once that this is done, this is going to be super, super nice. Um, I'm thinking about naming this blind the Taj Mahal, just because it'll be the nicest, the nicest blind on the property. And we have a metal roof that we're going to put on top of it. So I'm hoping that this will last for at least 20 years like the other ones have. Uh, we had some cedar um, blinds on the property and they're just now starting to deteriorate and... They were in there since I was in first grade, so that should tell you something. But yeah, we're gonna line the outside with uh, some weather stripping and um, ice and water. So hopefully it'll it'll be a nice spot. So as you come down the driveway, uh, I think I bought this maybe about four years ago. Um, it's just a little gate to keep the honest guy out. Um, I got this at Tractor Supply for I think 80 bucks. So it does pretty good and um, Again, we put a post in just right here and we'll lock this up whenever we leave. But for right now, you can just pick this up and pull it over um, whenever you're just trying to go into town or something. But yeah, it definitely keeps the honest guy out. I think last year we had our antenna stolen and uh, at least they weren't able to come through and drive their truck and steal anything else that might be a little bit heavier. But um, you can kind of see everything from the road. I mean, we're 25 feet from the road with all the foliage down you can see camp all the way in there and you can tell when someone's here and when someone's not so that's kind of the downside um, whenever we build the house and stuff we're gonna have to tuck it away back into the woods just so that you know again you're keeping the honest guy out my dad made a pole barn on the property this year and it replaced the old shelter logic tent that was on here from last year so he made custom wood doors on here and this basically just houses the tractor and the three-wheeler and we store it in here and as you can tell it's locked tight nobody's getting in there seeping in from the base so I've got to go on the outside and caulk around the base but you know it, it's dry it just leaks in from the from the sides this is one of the original gun blinds that was on the property when I bought it um, I've only used it maybe a handful of times um, you can see here that it's just got a little flip there's a bird's nest there you can see how much we use it um, but yeah, it's just got a little flip thing there. Old little window off to the side so you can see the deer coming in behind you. It needs a new roof. It's nothing It's nothing great. We tried to restore it one time, but it just really wasn't worth the hassle. Um, we ended up pulling out the, the bottom here, but um, we can take a look on the inside. It's nothing, nothing too great. Um, but yeah, it's all broken down now, but. Yeah, just an old blind that's on the property. I just got this up so I can hunt it this year, but this still needs a lot more work. As you can see underneath, I need to put some bracing just going across uh, the two by sixes this way. <clears throat> and then I want to go ahead and, as you see the braces here, I want to put the braces <clears throat> right here at, at the top part as well to really lock this in. So it's just up there for this season. It's not going anywhere, but more work to be done. Yeah, he's, uh, and I 
know it worked because Bo tried to go in there and it freaked them out, man. They, freaked them out. they won't get underneath here, underneath the bottom? Um, no, because it still catches their feet. Oh, I didn't see the line in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I try to, I try to keep it out e spa spaced evenly and uh, so that if, even if they try to walk through it, it's going to freak them out. So we'll see. I mean, I think I'm going to have to replace the fishing line. Um, not every year, but maybe every other year, just because the UV light is going to, you know, deteriorate it over time. And sure. what fishing line, it's, it's pretty cheap. I mean, it's less than 10 bucks to do all of this, so it's not too bad to replace it. And you put some over here, too? Yeah, <clears throat> put some trees over there. I thought maybe we expand the, the, the orchard over there. So I don't know if you guys can pick it up or not, but this used to be a stand. Here's the bottom portion right here, and then here's the seat. And there's a little peg right there to get up there. There's a second one. A yeah, it's not, it's not that high off the ground, but I don't think you've ever seen something grown into a tree like that. Well, that's the, that's, what, that's the biggest problem. When people put up tree stands, they leave them, and this is, you know, that tree grew around it. You have to take your tree stands down at least every other year and reposition it. Yeah, it's grown all the way in there. We took an afternoon to go post a property on all of the sides just to make sure that the public land that borders the property doesn't have anybody coming on and just getting misconstrued on who thought we were the property lines. So here it makes perfect sense on where the property lines are and you can't get confused. On this one right here, I just wanted to show you guys how necessary it is to make sure that you're posting your property regularly because you can see where the old picture was that said no hunting or no trespassing signs and we just threw a new one up just to replace it so that everyone can clearly see that it's posted. You know, it's like you said, with today's technologies and the apps that are available, you know, somebody can pull it up on their phone and everybody's got a smartphone nowadays that they can see where they're at and whether or not they're on private land or public land, but yet we still have to come through and basically tell people no this is mine yeah price you pay for owning the land i guess all right we got a lot to do all right so this is one of our stand locations that we have um this is a 16 foot ladder stand over here um about a little over 10 years ago i harvested a doe right behind you is state land it's pretty thick with pine trees then back when you could bait in Michigan, uh, we had a barrel that hung over here that you could put corn in. But since then, we just haven't cleaned up the spot. There's no corn or anything in there, um, but it's still a good spot if you catch something coming through. It will be might, might be a good rifle spot. Um, but yeah, this is just one of our stand locations. All right, guys, that'll do it. Um, that's Deer Camp 2020. Hopefully, I can post another video of us harvesting a deer this week during Michigan's gun season. Um, but we're still hopeful. We got another week left before um, we tear down camp and head back downstate. But thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll catch you in the next video.